actions of our gods. When we're talking about reactions of our gods, we're talking about reactions of the OH group. And the first thing is that they burn with a non-smoky flame. You want to go with a group of party, and you want a nice steak, and the chef comes and puts it in the middle of the table, and he throws something on it, and he lights some matches and throws it, and it goes whoosh. Mm. When it burns off, it's absolutely clear. That's ethanol. They can be oxidized, but not reduced. Now, one of the things we're going to see now in organic chemistry from ends forth we treat oxidation and reduction very simple. If you add oxygen to a compound or remove hydrogen from a compound, it's oxidation. If you add hydrogen to a compound or remove oxygen from the compound, it's reduction. So addition of oxygen or the removal of hydrogen is oxidation. Addition of hydrogen or the removal of oxygen is reduction. Now, oxidation can be used to distinguish between primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols. Now the two reagents we normally use, one of them is acidified potassium permanganate which is a purple color liquid. And the other one is acidified potassium dichromate, which is orange. Now when we add these two things to the three types of alcohols, we are going to get different products. So let's start off first with a primary alcohol. Let's say we start off with ethanol. If I oxidize it mildly, I lose two hydrogens and I form a compound called an aldehyde. And if I carry out the oxidation to completeness, I get a different organic molecule called a carboxylic acid. So if I oxidize it mildly, I get an aldehyde. And if I oxidize it completely, it goes to a carboxylic acid. What happens if I have a secondary alcohol? Let's use the simplest one, 2-propanol. If 
if I oxidize to propanol, I lose two hydrogens, and I finish up with a compound called a ketone. And the reaction stops there. It doesn't go any further. What if I have a tertiary alcohol? Like this one. If I oxidize a tertiary alcohol, no reaction takes place. So oxidation is a very, very useful way of helping us to distinguish between a primary, a secondary, and a tertiary alcohol. The primary alcohol will be oxidized either to an aldehyde or an acid. The secondary alcohol is oxidized to a ketone, and the reaction stops there. It doesn't go any further. And if we try to oxidize a tertiary alcohol, no reaction takes place. In a test, I could give you five structures. And I could say to you, which of the following cannot be oxidized? I would be lost. No, you're not. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Look at the structure and see which one is a tertiary alcohol. You're making a mountain with something simple. The one that cannot be oxidized is a tertiary If I said oxidation of the alcohol gives a ketone, you look at the structure and see which one is a secondary alcohol. Is that hard? That's no. all I need to do. Just know which exactly is the secondary. The okay, because I was. That sounds lost. simpler than I, but no, what I you just did. She's not saying it's going to make a structure. I'm giving the structures right in front of you. Okay, so so now I understand what you're saying. But before, I'm like, what, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> 